So today we're going to show you how to add a typical Hike Vision camera using the auto setup feature. From the timeline, we're going to go ahead and click add camera. Or if you don't have any cameras on your account, you'll click the let's add a camera button. Next, we'll choose Hike Vision from the list. And we're going to give the camera a name and click next. So next you're going to see your network settings. You're going to need to fill out the username and password that you pre-configured on your camera. And you're also going to need to know your external IP address. Now there's a good chance that your external IP address will be auto-populated here. If it's not, you can find out your external IP by typing what is my IP into a Google search. That's one way to do it. There's also websites on the internet. They'll look them up for you. Um, you're going to need to know your RTSP port and HTTP ports that you port forwarded on your router. Uh, now, the RTSP port may not show up here. There's no need for alarm if that's the case. What that means is more than likely your camera doesn't need an RTSP port forwarded and the auto setup feature has figured that out for you. So don't panic if you don't see that. After you click next here, I've already clicked next and clicked back so that we could see these here. Uh, you'll see that there's a, there's a test that takes place. We're checking the HTTP port forwarding, the RTSP port forwarding, and the username and password. If any of these fail, it will call out which specifically failed for you. So that will help you diagnose your problem. And after this, we click next. Here you can adjust your quality se settings, your sensitivity settings, and choose whether or not you want to have notifications for motion detection and camera health check. The no notification specifically for motion detection will send emails to the email address that you configured on your account. And the camera health check notifications will send you health check notifications if there's a problem with the health of your camera. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn that on because we like the idea of having that and motion detection is set to on, image appearance is normal, but you can choose flip, mirror, or flip mirror, depending on where you have your camera set up. Maybe you have your camera pointing towards a mirror, um, so you'd want to use mirror in this case. Uh, that would all depend. Sensitivity really depends on fully on where your camera is. Uh, so in this case, we're okay with average. We like the idea of 1080p, and we don't want IR mode on, so we're going to go ahead and click Finish. And now we can see that our camera is added to the timeline, and it should be picking up events shortly. Thanks for watching.